This is Barry Zelma speaking for Claim School Incorporated's blog, Zelma on Insurance. Today we're going to talk about why the state of New York applied a policy just as it was written and why a construction and development activity exclusion is unambiguous. In Grenadier Realty Corp. et al. v. RLI Insurance Company, a July 26, 2023 decision of the Supreme Court of New York Second Department, a New York Supreme Court trial court order requiring RLI Insurance Company to defend its insured, was appealed by RLI. The trial court order granted the plaintiff's motion for summary judgment, declaring that certain losses were covered under a general liability insurance policy issued by RLI and that RLI was obligated to indemnify the plaintiffs in connection with the underlying action entitled Gargiso v. Howland Hook Housing Company. In July 2012, Michael Gargiso allegedly was injured when he stepped in a trench which was dug as part of a construction project that had been left unfinished. Gargiso sued the property owner, Howland Hook Housing Company, and the property manager, Grenadier Realty Corp. Grenadier, which had purchased the general liability insurance policy from RLI effective March 1, 2012, sought to obtain coverage from RLI. RLI denied coverage based upon an exclusion in the endorsement to the subject policy for bodily injury arising out of, quote, construction and development activities, close quote. Thereafter, the plaintiff sued RLI to recover damages for breach of the subject policy and for a judgment declaring that RLI is obligated to provide coverage under the policy and to indemnify the plaintiffs in connection with the underlying action. The plaintiffs moved for summary judgment on the issues and causes of action against RLI, alleging breach of contract and for judgment, declaring that RLI was obligated to provide insurance coverage to them under the policy and to indemnify them. RLI cross-moved for summary judgment, dismissing the complaint insofar as asserted against it for a judgment declaring that it had no duty to indemnify the plaintiffs. In determining a dispute over insurance coverage, the New York Appellate Court first looked to the language of the policy. As with any contract, unambiguous provisions of an insurance contract must be given their plain and ordinary meaning. The insurer has the burden of proving the applicability of an exclusion. If the language is doubtful or uncertain in its meaning, any ambiguity will be construed in favor of the insured and against the insurer. However, the plain meaning of a policy's language may not be disregarded to find an ambiguity where none exists. The RLI policy provided coverage for, among other things, damages because of bodily injury. The policy, however, included a construction and development exclusion, which, as is relevant, excluded from coverage bodily injury resulting from construction and development activities. Gargiso was injured when he stepped into a trench which had been dug as part of the construction activities in a parking lot on the property. RLI demonstrated that the construction and development exclusion unambiguously excluded from coverage bodily injury arising out of such construction and development activities. Therefore, RLI established that it did not have a duty to indemnify the plaintiffs in connection with the underlying action. The Supreme Court, in New York the trial court, should have denied plaintiff's motion for summary judgment and should have granted RLI's cross-motion for summary judgment, dismissing the complaint insofar as asserted against it and for judgment declaring that RLI was not obligated to indemnify the plaintiffs in connection with the subject underlying action. The appellate court therefore reversed the trial court with cause. RLI Insurance Company's cross-motion for summary judgment dismissing the complaint 
but in so far as asserted against it and for judgment declaring that it had no duty to indemnify the plaintiffs was granted the appellate court then remitted the matter to the supreme court of king's county for the entry of judgment declaring that r l i was not obligated to indemnify the plaintiffs in the underlying action entitled gargiso v howland hook in my opinion clear and unambiguous exclusions must be as did the appellate court affirmed and enforced when they fall into a construction trench as did poor mr gargiso you are the victim of construction activities that were clearly and unambiguously excluded. This video was adapted from my blog, Zalma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zalma.com slash blog, and you can subscribe to the blog and will receive notice every day it is published, usually five or six days a week. And you could have access to the more than 4,550 blog posts. You can also see free the video on rumble.com and youtube.com, and I'd appreciate it if you do, if you click on the like button on YouTube or the thumbs up button on rumble.com. And if you'd like to see additional information and detail about insurance, insurance claims, insurance law, and insurance fraud, please consider subscribing to my locals community or my substack publications thank you for your attention